It's good to be with uh, Asia today, and we have a, a new pastor with us, Pastor Solomon, and so we are very excited about about what God is doing there in Asia. It's been a couple of weeks since we've been with you and I missed you. Ali, let me greet your family. Would you turn the camera? I would like to greet your family. Yes, sure. Uh, here they are. Good evening, everyone. God bless you all. Mm. So excited that you're you're with us and and uh, uh, Snow White. It's good to have you with us. Now, what is Snow White's name? <laughs> Snow White should have mega body belayed. Snow White should have been led. What is her name? Uh, uh, she's also from my our church member. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe well, she got us. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we are in Romans chapter three. We're about ready to to um, leave chapter three and go into chapter four. <laughs> Okay, now we're, we're going to read again verse 24 and 25. That's where we left off. But I want to refresh our memory of what we're reading. So, Ali, would you please read verse 24 and 25 in Lahu? From chapter 3, right? Yes. Yes. Of whom I be your way of bone tobacco, TV, Jovi, Cho, pet love you, TV, Jovi, Cho, pet love you, ye should create type of love, tobacco you, ye should be also tobacco. Okay. These two verses are, are, are so important that we understand. So after we talk about this, if you have any doubts, please express them so that we can clarify. Okay. So the first word that I want to focus in on is the word justified. We are justified. I think the last time we were together, I told you that definition of justification or being justified means a place, a state of a person that is just as if he had never sinned. Mm. 
ce vie. So when we are justified, actually we are re reconciled back to God because there is no sin. It's a position that God puts us in. Uh, it's not that something that we earn. We cannot earn this because we have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Mm. But because of what Jesus has accomplished, God therefore gives to us this, this place of being justified. And the Bible is very, very clear. It is a gift. It's not something that you earn. Pastor Solomon. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> if, I, if I was to give you my Bible as a gift, what would you have to do to receive it? Just to receive. As, exactly. You can't work for it because it's a gift. If it's if it's a wage, then you have to work to earn it. But if mm. I give it to you as a gift, you can't earn it. Ah. Yeah. So that gift that God gives us, this justification, is what we know as grace. Mm. So in God's grace, he gives justification. But that, that grace is a result of the redemption that we have through Christ Jesus. Redemption comes from the word redeemed, which means to be rescued. It has a it has a thought behind it, like the Old Testament, where they redeemed some of the sacrifices by an exchange. Mm -hmm. For example, the, 
the um, firstborn of Israel were to be given to the Lord. The Lord pronounced, all firstborn are mine. But he made a provision. He said, but you can redeem them by exchanging them for, like, I believe it was like 20 pieces of silver or something like that. Mm. So the person that was given to the Lord, he could be rescued from, from that by exchanging it for something else. Mm. But only, only under the guidance of God, he couldn't do it of his own thoughts or his own uh, ideas. He had to follow exactly what God put as the redeeming factor. Mm. Or in other words, to redeem this, this person firstborn with 20 pieces of silver, I can't think, oh, well, I think, I think I'll, I'll do something on my own. I'll give you, I'll give you um, um, three bulls. Hmm. So you can't make your own deal. And this is exactly what Jesus did. He took the curse so that we could be set free. Uh, upon him came the punishment not the people. It was his blood exchanged for the blood of animals. Mm. So that there was an exchange of what was what was required, he fulfilled it by his own. Mm. So when we read that through, or this gift is by grace through the redemption, <coughs> which is in Christ Jesus, it's because Jesus paid the price. Ah. Redemption, grace, justification is not free. 
It doesn't cost you anything. It's a gift to you, but it cost. It cost Jesus everything. Ah. He paid the price so that we can be redeemed. And then in verse 25, that idea is reinforced. God, the Father, displayed Jesus publicly as appropriation in his blood through faith. Appropriation is the 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 open act of of uh, well in this case the open act of sacrifice mm, Christ... Jesus became the thing that would be sacrificed. That's what appropriation is. He's the appropriation. Appropriation. And the way that he becomes the appropriation is through his blood. Actually, his blood becomes the appropriation. And then it says, through faith. Let's, let's read that first part. Whom God displayed publicly as appropriation in his blood through faith. Now, it uses the word faith because, yes, Jesus uh, gave his blood as the appropriation, but it's received by grace or it's by, by faith that someone lays hold of it and makes it their own um, their own what's the word I want to use I'm, 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 I'm hitting a blank here Ty we help me huh yeah yeah it, 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 you, Faith makes that appropriation a reality, a reality for you today. It is paid for everyone, but only those of faith receive it for themselves. Tawi, you have a hand up. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I wanted to 
share <coughs> a bit here is for the for us to receive the salvation, God providing the gift, the grace, you know, that the way for us to to be right with Him, but we have to receive by faith. It's like this: we all need salt. And salt have two property in there. There's sodium and chloride. It had to be perfectly balanced in there to be salt, and we need it. Now, if we just taking chloride, let's say chloride is uh, grace alone, it would kill you. Yeah. Okay, well, stop right there and let Ali translate for you up to that point. Yes. Okay. Sorry.ซาลามะกุมาลาเชวิชอเลวิชาวิออบอนชิเพเวยชิตังอะฮะยูตูออบอนโยเวติจิโลเวยโยเตมาลาเวชอเจงอะฮะอัลเลทาชู
চিলে আমার সুবলে কো লি ফু পি চুয়ে খোলো ইউ তে ছেবে পতকা পয়ে কবে না লে ও বে সুবলে in this verse it says god passed over the sins previously committed passed over hmm pola ta ko be to ko chi ti ma o ta le fu pi chi ta yo pasaka poe te bi ta shu bi when god was bringing the people out of egypt the last uh the the last uh event that took place was that every uh firstborn was going to be killed mm ichi tu mu mi te le is le la cho de pa on le mo to la to be ten you ta ichi tu mu mi lo ma pe bli ko all up po la ta ve ya te pa ga se ve ta ga mo yi and there was an angel sent to destroy every firstborn whether that be hebrew or egyptian it didn't make any difference it was going to be destroyed okale ola popola ta ve ya de pa ta ti pe do po jomo rusha a rusha cho je muna matsu ya ta fu pi yo le ichi cho cho mako hebre cho cho ju cho cho ve ya mako te ga le ta ola popola ve ya ta ti pe do po rusha muna matsu ya fu pi yo but god told the israelites to shed blood and with that blood paint the doorpost of their habitation ya ka visha cho isli la cho ta amato yo pibli ku ku le ostile no bi yemi pita se ta u ji omai ti ta ku che bi na le in the old testament says that when that angel saw that blood he passed over that habitation and it did not bring about the destruction of the firstborn life ah okale is le la cho de pa osu ta yemi pilo yo chikli she ta vi ta muno matsu ya che mo vi ko o vi te ye ta o ka vi yo che you see the blood was shed of the animal jesus shed his blood hmm muno matsu ya che to no to sha vi osu ta le But the people had to take that blood and apply it to the doorpost. That's their part of faith. Hmm. The salvation was not in just the shedding of the blood and receiving it in a bowl. <coughs> But they had to apply the blood and that goes with Leviticus chapter 17 verse 11 God gives the blood upon the altar to make expiation for your souls hmm to no to save also ta le you le yemi pita she to open sha tsu pi be le o we to no to save also ta you le le akhe ko ko ta le chiki che o ta we ko le obo ma jo Jesus, Jesus shed his blood, but he passed through the heavens with his blood and he applied it to the, to the mercy seat in a tabernacle <coughs> that is made by God. So he applied the blood to the altar. So with his own blood, he makes expiation forever against the sins of mankind. It is done, it is dealt with. Yeah, 
He paid the price by placing his blood on the altar. You and I, our part is to believe in what he has done. To take from the altar the blood to cover us, we have to make it personal. We have to accept it. So the price has been paid, but I have to lay hold of it and I have to bring it to me. That's paid. Now let's go on to verse 26. For the demonstration, I say, of his righteousness <coughs> at the present time, so that he would be just and justifier of the one who has faith in Jesus Christ. Okay, this is God the Father that is the just one. He is righteous, he is holy, he is absolute perfect. Yes. And it's he who is just that justifies. He is righteous, he is just. And he puts us in a place of justification, but because of faith in Christ Jesus. I cannot have justification outside of having faith. In Jesus Christ, there's no way. Works will not do it. I cannot work enough to get justified. It won't happen. <laughs> I can't apply or I can't appeal to God's mercy by beating myself with a whip. There are people that think they have to they have to do things so that they will be justified. Okay, I was in Mexico City and I saw a lady 
at the great <laughs> cathedral of Guadalupe carrying a baby and she was on her knees, walking on her knees for blocks to get there. Yami mate a moji Mexico, vehicle, your chevy Mexico, vehicle. Yami ma over there, we shall yot a calave or bota gave patole, ya etiga chitale, Christian novito, kutsutele, ya cotu cachelogy. Her knees were bleeding and she was carrying this baby. Thinking, oh, yeah, that cheetah let you be could you could you or she did or also did me at the challenge. She's thinking, oh, if I can just appease God with the, the, the treatment of my own body, <coughs> I will earn his favor. Ah, not to kill him, I will or don't not to tell it. We shall be a car or boat out to not to get till it to chavicule. Like I've also seen at Easter time people hanging themselves on a cross thinking that they are winning a special place with God. Ah, the extra, extra boy, call it only as the Sunday, the Bolam de Dimaro, extra boy, call it, you who they poet, they will call it, Chotipa Mojoji, La Chetiketi, Tanali, Tiga, Tiga. I have seen people. Yes. I have seen people take rods of steel and hit themselves, thinking that they're by their actions are going to win the favor of God. To be justified before God is a gift. It, you cannot earn it. You cannot badly treat yourself enough to earn this justification. Verse 26 says that God is the just one and he justifies <clears throat> those that believe and have faith in Christ Jesus. Mm. Stop working for your salvation. Don't think anything that you can do will, will do Harsh treatment to your body will not do it. Fasting for 40 days won't do it. Praying for three days without ceasing will not do it. There's only one thing, one thing that will justify you. One, one. Faith. In Christ Jesus. Trust in what he has done. Not what you can do, but what he has done. Verse 27. 
Where is the boasting? How can you boast if it's a gift? Can you boast of your own righteousness before God saying, I did this? <laughs> no, you didn't do that. Jesus done it, and you believe in what he did. So there is no boasting. It's excluded. You can't, you cannot lay hold of it saying, I did this. <laughs> And then it goes on to say, and what kind of law? Was it a law of works? You must do this and do that and do this and do that. Mm. Is that from verse 28? 27. 27. Oh, Nima uku so there's a question. What kind of law? Question. Hmm. Is it the law of Moses? A law of works? There is a law, and that law, look at verse 27, a law of faith. Law ah. of faith. The law It's not a law that places the obligation on you. It's a law that puts it completely upon Jesus and you believe in Jesus Christ. Okay. I want you to say something right now. I want you to say this. Law, I know that you can quote to govern you. Law of faith. You see it? Verse 27, is it there in Lahu? Law of faith. Uh, it's not mentioned as here, law of faith. It just mentioned because of faith. Mm. That's it. Mm. Tawi, does your say law of faith? Uh, <clears throat> I have, I think it's a new stand, American, what is it? It's not the King James, but it said, no, but on that of faith, just say mention faith itself. Okay, but it says previously law of works. Yeah, it's the whole st- 27 and so where then is boasting it is excluded on what principle on that of observing the law no <coughs> but on that of faith okay. that's the end of 27 okay it's mentioned um, as you log of walk in verse 28 here in lahu okay law of work but in the context what kind of law 
law of work or law of faith? Law of faith. So the Kuyoko Chevganan, she here called Jovenali. Ah, only Tokovica, go with Tokota Kuchevi. Only Tokovic Dan Tapatong or TV Jovi Chopela Villa. May only Tokovi. Olito ko, olito yovi, olito ko tapato leng a tivi chovi chope la villa. Manko kuku kai ko tule kuku. Pinya pinya lai shau yame pinya te ya jang chuno ru piao ma chinya da la. Dama maho yoji chin pinya te ya jang chuno ru piao ma chinya da. Today me kuchete. Now the reason why. The reason why I'm centering in on this is because the new cast in the new covenant, God says, I will put my laws into your mind and I will write them onto your hearts. Mm. Okay. He's not writing the laws of Moses there. He's writing the law of faith there and here. In the book of Romans chapter 8, it talks about the law of the spirit. The law of spirit So when God is saying, I'm going to put my laws into your mind, he's saying, I'm going to give, I'm going to put the law of the spirit, and I'm going to put the law of faith in your mind, and I'm going to write them on your heart. Hmm. So I stand saying to you today that there is a law of faith. And that law has got to be obtained and maintained. Now, verse 28, we see where Paul makes a very strong distinction between the Judaism and this new Christianity. That he is presenting to the believers. Ah, so the gang has jumpolu put malache which on you that church or coloca cape chevily. Oko, she will yo to touch at the creek yahoo as at the cockle cape chevily with Catholic put malata view. For we maintain that a man is justified by faith apart from the works of the law. Hm, I heard it. And that's where Paul gets himself into trouble with the Jewish people. The Jewish people say, oh, no, 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 no. You have to obey the law. You have to be circumcised. Paul says no. Faith in Jesus Christ is what's going to justify you. Uh, 
And then he says in verse 29 that God is the God of the Jews and the Gentiles. Mm. Same God, same principle for both parties, the Jew and the Gentile. Verse 30, he says, so it is God that will justify the people of circumcision by faith, by faith, they still must be by faith. Ah, you might have circumcision, you might observe circumcision, or you might not have circumcision, you might not observe cir circumcision, but if you have faith, then you are justified. No, we are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to so then in the, verse 31, do we nullify the law through faith? Do we, or in other words, do we cancel it? Do we destroy it? The answer is no, no, may it never be, no. We don't destroy it, but we fulfill it in faith in Christ Jesus because he did it. The law reflects the attributes of God. The law reflects the will of God. So we don't destroy the attributes of God or the will of God. But now through faith, it doesn't say it here at this time, but we established the law because the work of the Spirit of God starts to work within us through this faith, the Spirit works within us, and we by nature will complete and establish the law, not by force, not mm. by obligation. <laughs> A Gentile that fulfills the law because of instincts he is a law unto himself. And that instinct is placed there in his conscience by the Spirit of God, giving testimony of the will of God and his character. 
Alright, we've come to the end of the hour. Um, is there any questions or comments? Uh, I, I want to make one comment that when the Jew is arguing with Paul or Paul getting in trouble with the with the about the law, arguing about the law, Paul is really highly educated in the law himself. <laughs> So he he was he was studied under Gamaliel. He's he's a really the master. He's a Pharisee, so he know about the law better than anybody else. And yet he speak against it. You know, against it. You know, you cannot earn the salvation, and and salvation is for all mankind not just the Jewish self mhm mhm very good. Very good. So we're going to leave you with this thought. Justification comes through faith, not by the works of the law. That's a strong statement. Okay, can I can I add one more thing? Uh, 